When it comes to children, we as adults, we need to be more tolerant and understanding, even in the masjid, even in the masjid. And I'm sure many of you will remember as children, I certainly do, we, we used to have to play chicken in the masjid, meaning we were always fearful of and trying to escape the clutches of some of the older Musallis who would use any excuse to give you a clip around the ear. So when it came to Salah, if they saw you talking in the corner, come along, what are you doing talking here, a clip around the ear? Especially Taraweeh. In Taraweeh you always had those busybodies who don't pray Taraweeh themselves. <laughs> but they stand at the back and they become self-appointed monitors of the children to ensure that the children pray Taraweeh. So... And then you'd have people shouting at children, parent, but people complaining that children are making noise. Why do we allow ourselves to be disturbed? Are we better than the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Rasulullah alayhi salatu wa sallam, Anas ibn Malik radiyallahu an, relates a hadith by Imam Bukhari and others, and Imam Muslim. Anas ibn Malik radiyallahu anhu says, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam says, I start the prayer, the salah, and I actually intend to recite a long surah, but I then hear the weeping of a child. And so I shorten my prayer out of concern for the yearning that the child feels for its mother. I shorten my salah out of concern for the yearning that the child feels for its mother. SubhanAllah, the Prophet ﷺ would reduce the length of his prayer for the whole congregation because of the weeping of one child.